What is up, YouTube? It's your friend, Miriam, a.k.a. Lucky Number 78, and I'm here with a very special unboxing. The Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz from the Peekaboo Petites line of Barbies. Now, this is a figure that I bought several years ago, I, I think about five years ago, and intended to keep in the package because I am a fairly avid Wizard of Oz and Oz series collector. Um, unfortunately, my family went through a flood and the packaging was damaged, but the toy is intact. So it's time to unbox this older toy and review it for you, um, which is a, a treat for me and I hope will be for you. So, I've got my trusty knife. Who needs a name? Anybody? Um, and you know what? I don't even need him. There's a little pull tab on the back to get in here. So the age of the figure has rendered the pull tab useless. That's okay. Or the age of the plastic, I should say. It's okay. I'll just get in there with my handy dandy knife. Don't try this at home, kids. Alright, now it's open. It says, collect them all. The Wizard of Oz, Peekaboo Petites, each sold separately. This is number 85 in the series, The Cowardly Lion. <laughs> it has a photograph of the toys with an original photograph of Terry, the dog who played Toto. And it says, each sold separately, dog not included. So if you were planning to get a Cairn Terrier with your toys, you are not going to get a live dog. So, let's open this up. This is interesting. It appears to come with some charms. Hmm. The string on which the figure hangs tied around the plastic here. In such a way as to make it a little difficult to disin dislodge. But nothing's too difficult for lucky number 78. This thing is dropping charms everywhere. So far I've picked up four charms. I think that's all. Yeah. So... That is a nice feature of this figure. If you like charm bracelets, charm necklaces, that sort of thing. Alright, this is very secure packaging. I'll probably do a cut here. Alright, we are now in. It comes on a long chain, and it's in this cute, frilly container with a yellow and green bow. Let's open that up. Find it is sealed with a rubber band. They really don't want you to get into this packaging. All right. So not only is it a cute little, uh, looks like Kelly or Tommy as the Cowardly Lion. Definitely Kelly. She has little platform shoes. But she comes with a little plastic stand. Um. Not much detail to the figure. You can see. The waist is just 
a joint. Oh, maybe you can't see. My camera is not very good. But, um, this is real cute. Um, she has the their take on the ears is sort of a Neko Mimi uh, kind of hairstyle accessory rather than actually giving her cat ears. Um, which I understand the choice. I'm not sure that I'm a hundred percent on board with it. And she has a little red bow. Oh, you can't even you can barely see the ears. But this is very cute. This is a, a lot cuter than I thought. It's got this. This is probably extremely fragile. It's got a tiny felt on cardboard tail sticking out the back. You can see this figure's teeny. It's about an inch tall. And um, the stand is very is a very nice touch for such a low end figure. That's that's the Mattel Barbie um, touch, you know, that they uh, are catering to collectors of, of Barbie, of their peekaboo peek petites, that's a mouthful, peekaboo petites line, um, and of the Wizard of Oz. So I am very happy with this figure, and I'm actually kind of happy I took it out of the package. It's much cuter out than in. Um, and I will now show you the, uh, charms. It did come with four. And they are... Oh, that's cute. A ring with the Emerald City on it. It's fairly hard to see. I'm thinking I'm in focus, so maybe it's in focus when it's near me. But maybe not. That's very nice. I, I like that a lot, actually. That's a very cute piece. And, and the charms are made of a rubbery, silicon kind of material. Um, maybe a vinyl. Soft vinyl, maybe. Which, um, you know, makes them kid safe and uh, relatively durable. Next, as I just showed you, is the ruby slippers. Very cute. The next simply has a Barbie logo on one side. This is more of a traditional plastic with Cowardly Lion written on the back. And the last is a very cute translucent pink Glinda's crown, which I don't know if there was a Glinda in the series. I did pick these all up, but as I said, it's been several years. Um, so I, I don't know if that's in scale to her or if it's just a, a little charm. Um, Either way, that's a great value uh, if you can still find one of these or, or pick one up online uh, and you're a fan of the Cowardly Lion or the Wizard of Oz or Barbies in general. Um, I'm very happy with that figure. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, um, what you want me to review or, or look at in the future, uh, and uh, any thoughts you might have. Uh, on this video or future videos you might want to see, or past videos, although you can usually leave those on those videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, if you've watched to this point, and uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, stay beautiful. Peace.